Hello world, my name is Joshua and I'll be solving Day 7's Regular Expressions Part 1 of 10 Days of JavaScript. So in this objective challenge, we want to use a regular expression to evaluate a string. We want to complete the function data below by returning a regular expression object that matches any string that begins and ends with the same vowel. And recall that English vowels are A, E, I, O, U. Um, so keep in mind, regular expressions are almost like, like what it mentions, it used to either evaluate a string or find a string based on a certain string pattern. More resources are in the link below right here. Now, if you look at some examples, for example, if we would look at the string BCD, the real expression should just call it false because it doesn't start or end with a vowel. Uh, same here, it starts with the vowel, doesn't end with one. Here, it does start and end with the vowel, and not only just a vowel, same vowel, which is very important. Now, if you use this in something right, like right here, as input three, it's going to be false because it starts and ends with a vowel, but they're not the same vowel. So now how do we declare a regular expression object? We do constant re because this is the regular expression variable that we want to return. Okay, so I start with the syntax with these forward slashes. Inside here, I want to know that I know that the first character is going to be A-E-I-O-U. First, I put this this caret symbol to indicate the first character has to absolutely be, and this, these square brackets indicate it has to be A-E-I-O-U. So right here could be any one of these characters right here in these brackets. Now, we don't care if the la if there's going to be zero or more characters of anything inside. Because see, it could start and end, but it doesn't tell what's in between. It could be anything. So if it can be anything, we put this dot to indicate it could be any character. And there could be zero to as many as it needs characters inside inside that little string. And it ends with a vowel. And you might be wondering, how do I indicate that it's going to not just going to end with the vowel? Because see, if I try this right here, A-E-I-O-U like this, it's going to fail because it has to be the same vowel. Do you know what, like what, if it's the same vowel as the A-E-I-O-U? I have to put this in parentheses right here, the first A-E-I-O-U like this. Let me delete this to prevent confusion. Now I put this in something called like this parens because it creates this whole first part right here as a group. Now, why is that important? If I do slash one right here, this slash one is um, annotation for the first group. The first group meaning whatever the first group was high, was noted right here, which in this case, it's either A or E, I or U. But in this first group also guarantees that it's going to be that whatever the value is in this A, I, or U group. Therefore, matching the same vowel which is on one of these following right here. And I know it ends with that, so I had to put this dollar sign indicating that's the end of the pattern that we're looking for in the string. Put this nice little semicolon, and I do run code. Okay, it passes, submit code. Hey, code that's pretty good. Awesome. All right, guys, I hope you like this content. If, if, if it makes sense, please like and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, Leave it in the comments below. I'll be happy to help you guys find a new job or find find a new job or your first job or whatever it takes. Hopefully I could create some videos in that actually, just giving some advice. Um, well, anyways, guys, take care.